Hey, what is up guys, Daily Science here in this video, I'm back with another cool science experiment. So for this science experiment, you will need a piece of grid paper, but regular paper is fine, a clear CD case, a ruler, a pencil, and some sort of knife. To start off, you're gonna have to go ahead and make yourself a template And your template should have these dimensions. And you should end up with a piece similar to this. So now you can go ahead and take your clear CD case and use your template as a guide to cut out four identical shapes. Once you've done tracing each piece out, you can go ahead and get your knife and begin to start cutting. So to make those tough straight cuts, you're gonna have to go ahead and use the edge of a ruler to guide you along the way. After cutting deep enough into the case, you go ahead and use your hands or the edge of a table to snap the two pieces apart. After cutting a few times with the ruler, the cut should be deep enough to continue on without the ruler. Now it's not going to be easy, but you should end up with four somewhat identical pieces. Finally, you can go ahead and take your pieces and either tape them together or go ahead and use hot glue. and your finished product should look like this. So in order for the hologram to work, you're gonna have to use a phone to play a video. And for that, you can just go ahead and go to YouTube and search up hologram videos. Now there are many cool videos out there, so go ahead and pick the one that interests you the most. Now you just gonna have to go ahead and press play and put what you made directly in the center of the screen. Now just sit back, relax, and enjoy your hologram. So that's about it for the science experiment, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I really do think you guys should try this at home, even though it might be a little bit challenging to do, you'll end up with something really cool and really interesting. And before you leave this video, go ahead and leave a like down below, leave a comment down below about what you thought about this experiment and if you tried it yourself, how it turned out for you. And don't forget to subscribe as it always helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.